There's no doubt it was those shadow beasts. I don't mean to step on your toes, but would you mind if I used one of your corpses here to clean myself? <laughs> Only if we find one, of course. You want to rub blood all over yourself? Here, of all places. I was only asking. Going to get up again. The shadows have depopulated the entire mine. I better be quick, otherwise there'll be nobody left on this island. Something. Although Gatti not good teeth, could do one, but you should what? A mop, but the teeth. What? How to pick? List that if you then coin. First, the gut. What the f Big cave with many shiny stones near. Gaddy no dare explore the cave before. <laughs> Shh. 
Sorry, can't chat just now. Hey, wait. So you're the important man on board. I've been ordered to guard the Mage's galley, and I don't know your face, although you're the guy who arrived in the harbor just recently. Yeah, that's me. You're from far away, aren't you? What's the situation like out there? The sea is not safe due to a fleet of ghost ships. Oh yes, I heard. That's bad news. It's only a matter of time. You could be right. Nice ship you have there. No, it isn't mine. It... But are you able to sail it? Of course, or they wouldn't have entrusted me with such an honorable task. Right. What does one have to do to get you to leave aboard the galley? To do what? To attack the fleet of ghost ships. You must be kidding. I have my orders. Unless anyone tells me otherwise, the galley is staying where she is. And who gives the orders? Usually the most powerful person. How about you make an exception? Just this once. No way. Bad idea.
What do you think? The mages are powerful, and they are pursuing the wrong objectives. They haven't really understood the dangers. I'm going to crush a few skulls! Well, that's that. Great mine here. Now we could actually mine the resources. It looks like... like someone here has diverted the water from the waterfall. Zakia likes gold. Homie has gold? Yeah. Zakia wants more gold. 
Pummy gold and get my gold! Go earn your own gold. Now! If Hummies give gold, Zaki happy! You give Zaki gold? Do the Guardians even trust you, gnomes? Guardians only trust magic men. But eyes of Guardians overlook Gnu, so they not see when we do business. Right. How many gnomes live on Tyrannus? Um, five. Five? Does Zakir get more gold if he says higher number? No, Zakir gets nothing because he can't count. Give me my gold back. Well, okay. All I got back from you is four gold. One is still missing. But four is much more than five. And half of eight is... Forget it. Keep the coin. Ah, oh, shit. Not in the end. Why won't anyone listen to... Your ship out there. Does it ever leave the harbor? All hell's broken loose out on the open sea. It's better if it stays right where it is. And before you get any ideas, only one of us, a Guardian, can serve on board our ship. One more thing about the mines. Yes? The Western Mine is safe again, but it will need more men. Good. I'll instruct Cox to get the mine operational again. It may not be the best of news, but thank you for the information. The Northern Mine will deliver as expected. Good. I was starting to worry. I wasn't sure about trusting Valamir with such an important task. I know exactly what you mean. If you say it's fine, I'll believe you. Thanks for the news. I discovered a new mine to the south. Ah, where exactly? Near the harbor. It was teeming with goblins. But not anymore. Ah, excellent. I knew there was still something of value down there. Well done. See Gaddy and tell him about the new mine. He's a gnome at the harbor. Tell him to take over the mine. The sooner the better. Come on. Let me into the Great Hall of the Mages. I'll try not to get into any trouble. Very well. Go to them. Great. Stop! Not another step. You're not going to just saunter in here, are you? And what if I am? No way. General Magnus doesn't want anyone to disturb the mages. So without the General's permission, I'm not letting anyone in. I, I see. General Magnus asked me to speak to the mages. Oh, yeah? Do I have to get the General down here? Uh, nah. Forget it, I believe you. For all I care, just go in if you want. Are you this friendly to everyone? You aren't responsible for the Major's safety. If anything goes wrong or goes missing, I'm the one who gets it in the neck. They don't pay me nearly enough for this shit. You put your heart and soul into your work. Don't mess with me, all right? I thought being a Guardian would make me rich and famous. I'd go out and do some heroic deeds, and everyone in the tavern would love me for it. Instead, I just hang about here, and every once in a while some cretin comes by and wants to compete with me. How about some arm wrestling? I knew it. <laughs> Haven't you got anything better to do? Not right now. Hmm. But we'll only wrestle once, and the winner takes all. Just so you know, if you want to wrestle later than that, you can forget it. I'm on duty then. The Major's house. I hate so-called... Where's the fun in that? Where's... What? Oh. Well spotted, old man. Don't give me any cheek. Could you assist me, soldier? Or... Uh... Oh. 
Greetings, honorable mage. Yes, yes, lovely. Uh, what was I doing just now? Mm. Oh, yes. How can I help you? I've heard coconut oil is good for your brain. Coconut oil? <sighs> Why don't you put some proper clothes on before you talk to me like that? Nini? Huh? Oh, you not magic man. BCC right away. Impressive. You're clever. Yep, this he bring delivery dinghy. Not always right sorted, but with time I get better. Without help or of Gunu, big chaos. Do the mages treat you well? If busy sped at help or magic men smile. I understand. The mages are happy with you if you work hard. Yep, yep. That's why work lots, no blah blah. Master Lumbrock always say, speech is silver, violence is gold. It's speech is silver, silence is gold. Homie sure? Very sure. What a wonderful spot for a mass sacrifice. Don't think about it. Who is the most powerful mage among you? The Honorable Mage, Zacharias. Right. And where is he? He is with his research subject behind the reactor, on the other side of the Great Canyon in the Northeast. How do I get to meet Zacharias? He's deeply engrossed in his research. He's most interested in the reactor. He needs its magical energy for his research project. As long as the reactor isn't working again, I fear that he's not going to see anyone. I see. You seem a little confused. Yes. I'm about to make a breakthrough in my small experiment, but I'm still missing something important. Uh, I just keep getting carried away there. Where is your experiment? The experiment is nowhere. No idea. A thought experiment. <laughs> right. Yes. You see, I'm trying to determine the amount of energy that our monolith network needs for the reactor. Right. The lightning monoliths erected on Tyrannus accumulate the island's magical energy. They stand in a most favorable constellation for the energy flux. All we have to do is divert it to the crystals in our reactor. Easy. I see. Reactor. Oh. It's my greatest creation to date. Really? Follow me. This building and the one on the far side of the canyon form a circular focal point. We call it a reactor or a magical ring. The flows of magical energy converge beneath the bridge between the two buildings. Once the reactor starts running, it disrupts the equilibrium of the elements. The Titans don't like that at all, and they will give Tyrannus a wide berth in order to avoid the flow of energy. Fascinating, isn't it? Impressive construction. Indeed. We quickly realized that we couldn't keep up the flow of energy for long. We simply need more magical power in order to keep the reactor operational. We need to reinforce the network with suitably large monolith stones. What are you waiting for? The monolith stones haven't reached their destination yet. I've been waiting for days to hear news that the stones have been installed. You mean, the stones need to be inserted? Oh, you have been paying attention. About the monoliths. How many monolith stones do we need? 
Three stones? We've got two of them here on the island. Our old friend De Fuego got one of them from us. A gnome named Cassim. Who did you send to get De Fuego's stone? A cadet named Horus. That was several days ago. I hope he'll be back soon. I think I can help you with... Really? It can't be that hard to stick some stones in some monoliths. That's true in theory. What then? The monoliths are very far away and... Make sure you're well equipped if... Thanks for the advice. You trusted a gnome. Hmm. Why not? All right. Once again, for the deaf. Have you placed several shiny stones into the hands of a gnome? Um... Yes. And now you expect him to willingly deliver them? Yes. I think you should leave matters to someone else. But how? Right. That would be a great help. But don't forget, Kasim is his name. What was a mage doing with someone like Governor Di Fuego? We were once... how should I put it? Let's just say we were business partners. It was a long time ago, you must understand. What happened? Well, he supported our research. And in return, we supplied him all the crystals and minerals. It went well for quite some time. We had just enough time to save our skins. In the end, we were able to save two monolith stones. The third one remained on Caldera. 